What is up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with more Zombie Army 4 Dead War. This is level 3, Meat Locker. We're going to ring off a trophy achievement for completing the level. We're going to get all 17 of those collectibles, including the heroic action. And I do want to just quickly remind you that we do have some quick links down below in the video description. Those are there not only based on each collectible, but also by chapter. So if you maybe just missed one collectible and you only need it in one chapter, use those quick links down below. Now, uh, we are going to kind of cut things out. So there's kind of an evolution of our series here. And we're going to start things off by grabbing comic page number one. Now, you can tell by my ambient screen here that I am hurting for certain. And basically, we need to get some healage. But we're going to run up and around and into this first cabin here on the left and grab comic page number one. As you can see, Tyler's doing backflips. And uh, essentially, we have gone and cleared out all of the bad guys. We've accomplished a few of the objectives. And now we're going to trudge our way through what's left of the wasteland and grab those collectibles for you. So as you can see here, we're going to go up and around and off to the right into this nice cabin-like area with a nice fire gotta stay warm we're basically following the task at hand which is regroup inside the woods stockade and that's what's going to be next we're actually going to get to the top and it's going to open the door and there's going to be a little bit of an edit because we went and cleared out all the bad guys once again so hopefully you guys enjoy this method a lot better than uh just going through and watching me shoot and take stuff out make sure you grab that document off the lazy boy sitting inside that cabin so lots of cabinage here we got lots of stuff hiding inside which is good right it's better than being off in the woods and there's a lot of easter eggy type stuff in this woods too uh beware there's a little bit of a jump scare here and there but essentially we are making our way to the next collectible which is the zombie hand uh, we're going to see, it's actually up on that, see those uh, trees up on the high right side on the other side of that building? That's where we're going to find it. We got a long way to go. Now, keep in mind, there was tons of guys. I believe there was a blood seal that we had to crack open to get through that door. But now that we're in here, we should have access to uh, the next collectible, which is the zombie hand one. Don't forget, we do have an ammo restock here. It's never a bad thing to know where all of your ammo is. Now, uh, there's lots of stuff going on in here, but no collectibles. We're going to go out and about. Uh-oh. Tanksy. These guys are no joke. However, we uh, we kind of hide out and wait. In fact, I think we actually take out the tank before we uh, get the old zombie hand. It's up on the uh, high right arm there of the tree. And you can, in fact, you can see it walking back and forth right now. All right, so we've officially taken out the tank and all the bad guys, and I'm going to take about 17 swings at this <laughs> hand over here. I definitely recommend getting as close as possible so you don't have, uh, you know, tons of shots missed. But I, on the flip side, you don't have a bunch of people watching you, uh, you know, like I'm trying to impress you guys. I got aim. Not, not aim bot, but just aim. And all right, we're going to go ahead and head over to the right-hand side of the area. The upgrade kit's going to be hiding in one of these train cars. So that is actually going to wrap it up. Now... This next section, I'm kind of experimenting with something. So you guys will have to tell me if you like this or if you would just rather me cut to the next chapter. So this is where your feedback is crucial. If you guys would prefer me just jump to the next part of the chapter and, and, and just move on with the collectibles only, let me know. If you like the fact that I'm kind of going through and showing you most of the objectives and how we're doing them as well, please drop a comment on that too. So you can see here we got to pick up a hydraulic canister. This is actually going to prevent me from being able to use my two-handed weapons. So you can see i got to carry around this thing. Now, there are three points that we have to get to, and each point requires us to drop it and wait for it to fill. So uh, for some reason, I don't have the hydraulic canister anymore. I'm not sure. I think I dropped it during a battle. No, we, we actually filled it up. All right. So we filled up the first one. That's what it was. All right. Now we have to remove or well, refuel from another wreck. My bad. I can't read apparently this morning. But uh, basically, it's the rule of three. We're going to drop it in there, protect it for roughly two minutes, and then we're going to have to pick it up and take it to the next spot. So as you can see here, like, like I said, I, I, I'm happy to remove all of these points. I know that we've gotten a lot of praise, though, for not editing out tons of stuff. Like, I know that some of you like the point and edit, like the point and shoot edits where, like, Hey, there's a big crane on the right of the crane. We're going to see this little waterfall. The waterfall has the collectible behind versus like us running from point A to point B in the map and not having any cuts or edits, right? Like, I mean, there are some some blends. We, we definitely have some edits, but not we're not on one side of the map. And then the next edit, we're on the other side of the map, right? Like, I, I hope that's making sense. But essentially, you guys let me know down below. I know the series hasn't taken off as well as we would hoped it would have. 
But uh, in fact, our streams, our live streams are doing like 10 times better than our collectible videos. So uh, maybe we'll just stick to streams. Maybe, maybe you guys don't even want collectible videos anymore. Maybe you just want Lego collectible videos. We're trying to provide as much help as possible, though, uh, not only for now and leaning into the future because uh, we, we want you guys to hang out. We want you guys to stick around and we want to be able to help out. So here we go. We've got uh, a bunch of armored giants. These guys are not a lot of fun. We did find out that if you do build up a takedown, you can run up to them and straight take them down. Give them the old shiverini. Uh, as you can see there, we've officially taken out the blood seal by taking a ton of bad guys down. And I didn't figure you wanted to watch all of that, so I edited that out. And now we're on a quick run to the safe room. Once we get into that safe room, we'll check the final totals, make sure that we got all of the collectibles throughout the level. And, of course, we'll jump right into the next chapter. Pay no attention to Tyler's numbers, as they usually overshadow mine. Uh, usually it's because I'm hanging out in the safe room waiting for him to clear out. No, I'm just kidding. I won't take credit. He's got gooder aim than I do. All right, we're officially done here. We can go ahead and move on to ch -ch -ch chapter two. You can see here I have done another swoop through the level, cleaned out all the bad guys, and we're going to return back to the beginning where the safe house starts. There's dead bodies galore, so watch out all over the floor. And we're going to go ahead and make our way all the way back down this hallway and take a hard left. Now, I do believe this is a moment of panic. Tyler's like, no, you're going the wrong way. But he had led me to this collectible seconds before just to show me where it was. And I was like, nope, it's over here. And for once, for once, I remembered and he did not. That's amazing. This dude's got a photographic memory. And speaking of which, shout out to Tyler P for taking the time to not only find all these collectibles, but show me where they are. Because I know that sometimes... It's not always fun trying to carry me through stuff. All right, we're going to make our way into the shooting gallery here, and all the way around the corner on the ground is going to be upgrade kit number two. Now, watch out. There is some shenanigans going on here. Ah, there's actually some dolls that pop up, and you can shoot them, and each one kind of goes into a flamey... I don't know what's going on, but I, we, there's got to be more to some of these Easter eggs. Like, they don't just pop up and show you, right? All right, upstairs we go through the old boxing room, out and around the corner into the, the classroom where we're going to find the old zombie hand screeching down the chalkboard. That was my least favorite one. I hate that. Like, I'm not a big worry wart about sounds and stuff. Like, my mom hates the sound of styrofoam and, like, all these people have different things. Nails on the chalkboard, though? Are you kidding me? All right, so this was a little bit of a mess right here, guys. I drop down right there, and I get into this battle, and I totally thought that... Once we cleaned out the area, we went back to that drop point. But as it turns out, there are more than one drop point. I, I actually went to a drop point that we didn't drop down from. So that was fun. Uh, I do get a bunch of guys here, so we're going to edit these out as well. I do believe we got a nice fade. Oh, no, psych. We're going to stick around. That's right. So this was the part. So I struggled. This video took me like two hours to edit because this particular chapter, I, I like I just said, made a mistake. I thought we dropped down in a particular point which we did just a second ago, and we came out and around and back up these stairs here. But the problem was is that there was another spot that looks like we dropped down from that I go and I kind of recalibrate my, you know, my camera. I call it a clean edit when we're, when we're playing. Like, I want to be able to, like, you know, like, for example, if I use that refill box right there, I can use that as a clean edit. I can come right back and use the, the ammo box again, and that animation, I can just overwrite it, and that's a nice clean edit. Uh, but in this particular case, there was no clean edit, so it's a little bit lengthy. We do go ahead and show you what's going down, though. we got to flip the switch on the power, and now there's another one. I run right by it like a noob. Look at this. I run right by it. Tyler's like, come on, dude. you got to get this thing. And I'm like, oh, where's the collectibles, dude? <laughs> there isn't one for a while. In fact, if you're in a hurry, Document 2 is coming up in about a minute and a half, but you can use that quick link down below. It's right around the 10-minute and 16-second mark. All right, headshots galore. I was trying to work on my mastery stuff. God, the joke was on me, though. I didn't even have all the upgrades yet. So I'm like, it, you'll see me as time goes on. I'm totally shooting at the legs and, and the, the bad guys trying to, like, sever limbs, which is one of the objectives for the Thompson, the secondary. But I hadn't even got, like, all the upgrades yet. So, all right, we are getting pretty close to being done with this wave here. We only got about ten more guys. You can see Tyler's off in the background running around getting stuff done. Uh, you'll notice that that happens a lot if you watch any of our streams. He's like, dude, I ain't waiting for you guys. I'm just going to go do this by myself. He straps on the old back brace and takes off. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And he gets her done, too. So, uh, anyways. 
So as we keep on with the keeping on here, you can see we have only a handful of zombies left to break the blood seal. Or maybe this is a whole new wave. Either way, we've got an objective to do that. So we're going to go ahead and try to get her down. Now, as we move into this big area here, lots of guys ensue. There is the blood seal over in the corner there. Uh, we are going to actually edit out and take us to the next collectible here in a hot second. Here we go. Oh, blood seal done! So, yeah, there's a lot more guys that we took out. I just went ahead and sped that up. And look at that. So now we're going to go ahead and make our way. We're out in the big area, the warehouse, if you will. We're going to run towards the objective. And as we keep on with the keeping on, we have to drop down. So here's that other drop down point, right? So there's the spot where I tried to edit to. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, make our way out. We got to find the two thermite charges. Now, if I do remember correctly, I'm headed to the document right now, whereas Tyler is not. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way up the stairs into the dining hall, right? We got to go up the stairs and around the corner. You can see he's even got it marked for me. He's like, it's right here. So that's pretty sweet. There is a spot coming up where I accidentally forgot to hit record. It's not in this video. It's in a future video. But I'm just warning you now that I hit, forget to hit record. And unfortunately, we had to do uh, a take of one chapter where all four collectibles, we don't show you on screen because I accidentally got them off screen. And then we had to go back. And so we used that feature like the, they're over here. Can we use that point and shoot? So unfortunately, that does happen coming up. I think it's chapter five, but. All right, we are totally lost. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Now, you are officially done with all of the Chapter 2 collectibles, so if you are in a hurry or maybe just don't want to watch me trudge my way through the rest of this, go ahead and use the quick link for Chapter 3, which is going to be right around the 12 minute and 53 second mark. Now, here's a preacher. If you guys have not already, there is a trophy achievement for taking out three guys with one preacher shot. Now, there's a lot of guys scraggling around here. You can run by almost all of them. You might take a little bit of damage here and there, but you basically can ignore them all and save your ammo. What we're doing right now is we're running to try and place the thermite. We picked up the thermite already. Tyler grabbed them both. And now we got to drop them. And now we got to regroup at a security door. You can see I'm trying to prep up. I'm trying to line them up. And at this time, I was under the impression that it had to be five guys with the preacher. But it turns out it is only four. And I do believe I get them right there. I, th I think we actually got that. It's cleanup on aisle four is the trophy achievement name. Um, I did get it in this video. I don't think we showed it, though. I think I edited it out. I think it was right in that segment segment right there, right when they were coming down that hallway. So there are plenty of places to get that trophy achievement. And if you guys are really wanting us to show you, we can probably muster up a hot spot where we can go ahead and show you how to do it. You can see here we got all four of those collectibles and finished the level. And again, Tyler beat me. That's going to be kind of a general theme here, so don't be surprised if that's the case next round. Here we go. We're going to start things off. We've gone ahead and cleared out this area as well. We're going to make our way in to the, basically the big fighting area here. And uh, as we get to this first jump point, there's a giant fan on the ceiling. you got to look up high. Guess what? There he is. He's rolling around on that pipe. Now, I think I take about 12 shots at him, so uh, please don't count. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's up there. There might be a better angle that you can take at him, but I definitely... Oh, I only took sh two. Brundle. What a weird name. All right, hop over this middle point here, and then we're going to take a hard right over into this wall. And actually, all the way back into the right corner, as the doorway is tucked in there. And look at that. There's an upgrade kit sitting in what appears to be like the, uh, the boss's office, perhaps. A lot of open space here, and, and then there's like a, a main area that like, looks like maybe a boss. All right, we got a comic page coming up next. These are luckily all grouped together thanks to Tyler's hard work. Uh, he managed to uh, find a way to make sure that we could not only get them all in one swoop, but to do it without any zombies trying to eat us. So that comic page is back in the right corner of the main kind of, I don't know if I'd call it the warehouse area, but... Uh, and then we got a new room. This one opens up as you're fighting through. So if you're trying to run through uh, before you've cleared out all the guys, this door might not be open yet. Go ahead and grab the document tucked inside there on those lab space tables there. And we are officially done with Chapter 3 collectibles as well. Now, again, I am totally wanting to know. We, we got some stuff we got to do for the level, so we're going to go ahead and complete that. But do you guys want me to skip all this? Do you want me to just jump right to Chapter 3 now? I mean, I got like seven more videos, six more videos I got to pump out for you guys with all these collectibles. So you guys are the ones watching them. What What is the most efficient for you? Do you like seeing all this stuff? Is it is it troublesome? Like the game is pretty good about telling you where to go. 
Like, there's icons, and if there's not an icon, there's a little compass up at the top of your screen, usually. So, uh, definitely let me know, because I, I would be happy to remove all this stuff. As you can see, I'm just kind of fanning through the different tasks, right? We had to, uh, you know, place the charges, then we had to start the charge. Now we got to start the turbines to build a charge. And now we've got to wait for the charge to build. And then we got to infuse the core with the power of Arcane. And look at that, there's another preacher hanging out back here. So, yeah, and then we got to start the bio distillation process. So, again, this is just kind of like an overview of all the different things. I I'm just trying to play with it and see what the best formula is going to be. So, now we got to wait for distillation. Once that's done, you got to install the biofuel rod, giggity. And we'll go ahead and do that and take out a whole bunch of zombies while doing so. And uh, we're going to retreat and actually hit this button over here, and this should get us on out of here basically i think oh start the final infusion okay so we gotta we gotta flip the switch up in the main room one more time we gotta wait for it to build one more time we're gonna go ahead and edit through that too yep install the core in the rocket housing so you can see we're carrying it right now i'm hurting again and i went the wrong way there's like three different stairwells here tyler was laughing at me because i was like oh i went the wrong way and then i came down and i went down another whoop went the wrong way again so whoopsie all right, now I finally, this is what this is the way I went originally. So I was I was headed in the right direction. I just forgot to do a step. Now as we keep on with the keeping on, we just got to get to the safe room. And guess what? Cha-cha-ching! We officially made it safe and sound. Of course, I'm going to grab a med kit and heal up so you don't have to look at that red screen. And look at that. What did you say, Blaine? That one is uh, a trophy achievement for not taking damage or not using a med kit over four levels, I think it is. So, four consecutive levels. So that's pretty cool. All right, to start things off, as soon as you leave the safe house, you're going to want to run around this fallen train car here. And you can see there's a giant hand with, like, the beam of light coming from the sky. There's also a zombie hand up on this roof here. But that's not what's important. Right around the corner here from this train car, there's a guy, and we need to take out. Right, well, we're playing on easy. There's only two zombies. But there may be a bunch more. you got to save him in order to get that heroic action. That is part of the collectibles, and you will want to grab that. If you missed it, start the chapter over. Next up, we're going to go inside and actually over into this back corner of the bunker here. And that's right, on this box in the corner is document number four, which is going to wrap out all the docks for this particular level. Now we're going to drop back outside and turn around and take out that zombie hand that was strolling around on top of the building there. Hopefully I can get good and not miss about seven times. Oh, Tyler, get out of my way! He loves do He lo You should hear it. Like, one of these days, I'm going to get the audio with him just laughing at me because it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, over to the left-hand side of the area around the train car that we saw that heroic action in, we're going to wrap around in these sandbags and find the comic page number four. Last but not least, right around the sandbags on the far right side, right in the middle of the area, you're going to find that weapon upgrade kit. Now, for me, I leveled up as well, so I got two upgrade kits right there. Now, I need to just go ahead and spam them. Now, as it turns out, you do need to level up completely at least three weapons, and that'll enable the mastery. Each weapon, once you've fully upgraded it, has mastery tasks, like a challenge. The Mossin, the main sniper rifle, requires you to get 200 headshots from over 50 meters. Seems pretty easy, but it's it's going to take a while. You, with the Thompson, you have to get uh, 200 dismembers. So you have to shoot off arms or legs from zombies, which, once you get that gun powered up, it's actually pretty hard to dismember. It actually kills them before it dismembers their legs. So that's kind of a task that'll be a little troublesome. And then uh, the pistol one, uh, there's a couple of different ones. So definitely, you know, you might not like the, the dismemberment. Maybe you want the trench gun. The trench gun is going to have a little different, I believe it's a little different task. They might all be the same. To be honest with you, I haven't looked, but uh, oh to the yeah. All right, so we've got kind of a final battle here where we're going to take out a ton of zombies. Um, I, I, I'm not sure why I really left all this time here, but we have to survive while the rocket gets into position. There is a timer too. Okay, so you don't have to stay up on this tower but if the, if you do leave it, the zombies could come up there and actually turn the, the tower off, which would require you to get back up there and turn the switch again. So Tyler and I are just kind of hanging out up here, playing on easy. It was actually fairly doable to, be, to stay up here. Uh, at one point, I think we do get chased down. But, I mean, look at all that. I was just getting paid by that trap. Eventually, they deploy a big old tank. And, of course, Tyler and I take no time. I'll turn it in into mincemeat. That's right. We'll go ahead and drop that tank like it's hot. Booyah kashow. And uh, look at that. I even got a sticker. I think it's really cool how they uh, reward you with your objective-based stuff. The stickers is a kind of a cool concept. 
Now we got to get back up top and calibrate the rocket for launch, which I do believe just requires us to hit a button. So you can see the rocket is now officially on the tower on the left-hand side there. It's come down the train tracks. Choo-choo! And uh, all right, we officially got it all cali- Oh, no, we got to survive while the rocket calibrates. This is only going to take about another 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, there's definitely creepers and a bunch of guys that are going to come try to get you. But uh, hopefully you got somebody like Nice Guy Tyler with you that can protect you. In my case, I'm going to run over to this corner here, get some ammo, which is actually going to keep me away from a lot of the baddies. And look at that. We just got to get back up there and flip that switch, which is going to make the rocket go. See ya. Cue a cutscene, and of course, it'll take us away to the next final total screen. And that'll be the last one for chapter, excuse me, for level three, chapter four. Moving right along, we are. All right, flip the switch, and we are out of here. Mission complete, and look at that. Oh, snap! Weird science. Do -do 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 -do. It is kind of weird science here, as the numbers don't really match up. As I've been saying this whole time, Tyler's always got better numbers than me, but not this time. Look at that. The combo was even what? What? All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for Zombie Army 4 Level 3. All collectibles found in this video. Hopefully, you guys found this video not only entertaining, but, well, I guess maybe helpful and maybe a little bit entertaining. I guess I said that backwards. Anyways, check us out on social media. As always, until next time.